All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the legendary, the iconic LRW Superstar Champion, Triple F, a.k.a. Frat Boy Francis Franklin from Fairfield County, the Gold Coast of Connecticut. He drove up here in his Mercedes. We got that little footage of him with his Mercedes. Uh, we don't misrepresent people, okay? This guy is a class act. This guy has always been a class act. He represents the Gold Coast of Connecticut. He represents the very best that the state of Connecticut has to offer. And you have represented the Federation with a lot of class and a lot of dignity. Thank you. Uh, now, Triple F, I've been putting in a little bit of a bind because uh, Sean Evans, you familiar with this guy? I am, of course. He earned a shot at you. He defeated a man named Ed, Adam Nowak and he earned himself a title shot at you. However, he wants to be a tag team wrestler now. He's got this, he's got this tag team. They're like crazy radical leftists. They call themselves the Velvet Mafia, all right? I don't know what's wrong with young people these days, but they say together, together, they want to take you on. If you can't find a partner, then you have to fight them two on one. It has to be a handicap match, all right? My question to you is, do you have a tag team partner when you defend your title? Certainly do have a partner. You have a partner. I do. You gave me this information previously. His name is Adrian, am I correct? Correct, it's Adrian. But where is he? Is he available for an interview right now? He's available. Yep, and the best part is he's of Polish descent as well. He's of Polish descent. Polish descent. The last guy we had, Adam Novak, he was actually born in Poland. He had opened up the market in Poland. There's a lot of people buying LRW videos in Poland now because of him. I want to do business with Poland. That's a good... And by the way, I like this shirt. Oh, thank you very much. It's from the Hamptons, as you know. Yeah, it's got the map of the Hamptons. we got Southampton here. Somewhere here is East Hampton, which is where the frat boy is residing these days. That's Ralph Lauren Polo, right? You got it. Only yeah. up there. We, we have good tastes. We have sartorial splendor, as you say. Okay, bring on bring on this guy, Adrian. Adrian, come on out. Hello, Adrian. Adrian, could you give us your name, please? Greetings. I'm Adrian Wisniewski. Adrian Wisniewski. Okay, good Polish name. Uh, you are from Union, New Jersey, am I correct? That is correct. You uh, have attended a private school in, was a Catholic school where? Roselle, New Jersey. Roselle, New Jersey. You guys are going to be forming a tag team together. What is going to be, they call themselves the Velvet Mafia. That itself has a certain connotation. What are you guys going to be calling yourselves? We're called the 1%. I like it. I like it. The 1%. <coughs> the 1% is going to be here in LRW Wrestling and this young man from Poland. And you know, I just have to say on a personal level, I have nothing but respect for the people of Poland, all right? I see the nationalistic fervor that they have. Anybody, anybody who believes in putting their own nation first, I like it, all right? That's the kind of, that's the kind of idea, ideology that I support. Um, now, you are fluent. You are fluent in Polish, am I right? That is correct. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. I want a good working relationship with the people of Poland. Uh, you can speak Poland. Would you be kind enough to say something to all of your fans out there in Poland? Yes. Proszę nas wspierać. Polska będzie sławna. Excellent. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, now, uh, this match that's coming up, we've got Crazy Austin, we've got Crooked Sean. I don't know what's wrong with young people these days, but these are basically leftists. These are basically radical leftists who want to who wanna take over LRW wrestling. What, 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 what do you have to say about these guys, and how do you envision this match going down? I want you to be the referee because I feel that you would be very just, impartial, and unbiased. Well, you know, I can guarantee I would be totally fair. I would be totally unbiased. I would accept your offer. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Young. 
Uh, excuse me, young lady. You, uh, before I shake your hand, I want you to know you are interrupting a live interview here. Who are you? My name is Kayla Thomas of the Manchester Herald. The Manchester Herald. Well, I have nothing but respect for the Manchester Herald, but if they're sending out journalists like you to interrupt my live interviews, uh, Ms. Thomas, what is your reason for being here? I object of you being the referee because I feel you'd be very biased. You feel I would be very biased? Did you hear that? Yeah, pretty weak. What are you basing this claim upon? Well, basing it on the way that you're dressed, I can tell that you represent the best interests of the 1%. You know, that, that's a totally unsubstantiated claim. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I never thought I would say this about the Manchester Herald, but as far as I'm concerned, you're fake news, all right? You're fake news. You are a loser. I don't want you on the set. Get her out of the set. Get her out of the set. Get her out of the set. Yeah, yeah. And that's the way it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be these guys, the one percent. We got a young man from Poland here uh, with strong nationalistic sentiments. We've got the fabulous fret boy Francis Franklin, A.K.A. Triple F, an iconic champion. They are going to be going up against <coughs> Crooked Sean and Cr Crazy Austin. These guys who call themselves the Velvet Mafia. If by some miracle a member of the Velvet Mafia pins our legendary champion. That guy will become the new LRW superstar champion, but it's not going to happen. I know a loser when I see one. That reporter was a loser. <coughs> the 1%, the these guys are winners. Velvet Mafia, they're losers, and you're going to see it all unfold in the next LRW wrestling presentation.